Hi, my name is Brian Sappet. I'm the president of Datix, and today we're going to be looking at Datix Connect. Datix Connect allows you to synchronize data on the Scribe platform between Salesforce.com and Epicor. So we're going to start with a very simple workflow. We're going to add a customer inside of Epicor and watch it synchronize up to Salesforce.com. And then we're going to add a contact and a activity or a call in Salesforce and then watch that synchronize back to Epicor. Okay, so we're going to log into Epicor here and get started. Uh, we're also going to show another flow where we enter a sales order and then also create an invoice and then see that data flow back up to Epicor. Uh, also, a lot of this is bi-directional, so you could create customers in Salesforce and then have those flow back to Epicor. Uh, you could also create contacts in Epicor and have those flow up to uh, Salesforce. And we'll show at the end of the presentation which entities are bi-directional and which are read-only from Epicor up to Salesforce. All right, so I'm going to open up uh, customer entry here and just enter a basic customer. All right, so we're going to enter Microsoft just as a sample customer and then enter some basic information, just some address information about Microsoft and mark them as a customer. And all of these fields can flow up to uh, Salesforce. I'm just doing this for the interest of speed. Okay. All right, so then we're going to save that. And so now we're going to flip back to the Scribe Online platform here, and I'll give you a little tour of Scribe while this runs. Um, so I'm running this manually, but you could actually do it on a schedule. You could do it uh, every minute. You can do it every day. You can do it once a week, once a month, just whatever your business rules demand. Okay, so we're going to go in and take a look at our Scribe solution and show you the building blocks that make it up. So on the first tab, we have the name of the solution and also the description. And then on tab two, we have the agent. So the agent is a piece of software that can be installed in the cloud on Scribe server or in, on your server on-premise behind your firewall. In this situation, we have it installed on our test server, our test Epicor server, and it connects to the web services locally to feed data back and forth uh, to the Scribe platform and up to uh, Salesforce.com. Uh, that's really nice because you don't have to expose your Epicor system to the internet, and then you don't have to worry about the security of your data. So we'll go over to the Maps tab and take a look at the different maps that are available uh, out of the box that Datix provides for mapping data between Epicor and Salesforce.com. So we have accounts, we have contacts, we have calls uh, flowing back and forth between the two systems. And we're going to go in and take a look at the contacts entity and what's called an advanced map and see the pieces that make that up. So we're going to double click on contacts and you'll see that we get this editor that pops up. And you'll notice that there's building blocks on the right hand side that allow you to put together the query and the update and insert of information into Salesforce. So the blue one on top is actually the query to pull customer contact data out of Epicor. And then you'll notice down below that we've selected change date to only process records that have been changed since the last time it ran. So then what we can do is we can loop through each one of those results, that's what for each result is for, and then create or update a contact in salesforce.com. And then we can map, match that data on different fields. So here we have Epicor contact number, which is in internal to Epicor, and then also the account ID. And then we can flip over to the fields tab and then see all of the different fields that are available for mapping. And you'll notice if you're an Epicor user that this is every field that's available for a customer contact. And then on the right hand side, we have all of the Salesforce fields. And you'll notice that it's very easy to map this data back and forth. All you have to do is drag and drop that. So if you want to take change time and then map it over to create date or something like that, you just drag that field and then drop it on the Salesforce side. You also notice that we can do formulas and lookups so that we can actually transform that data as it goes into Salesforce if it needs to. So now we're going to back out of this map 
and we're going to cancel out of there too because we don't want to make any changes and you'll notice that it should have run and we're going to flip back to our Salesforce system and it did complete and you'll see that we have Microsoft as an account now in Salesforce. Okay, and you'll see the address information that flowed through and then also the account number that we put in Epicor. Okay. Now next, what we're going to do is we're going to add a contact inside of Salesforce and then have that information flow back to Epicor. So we'll add Bill Gates, works for Microsoft, it's pulling the address information from um, the address inside of Salesforce but we could change that if we wanted to and then we're going to save that and then we're also going to add an activity associated with that customer of Microsoft we're going to log a call okay so the subject is a is called Bill Gates and you put the date in and then you can also enter your comments so we discussed a new email system and then click Save Okay, so now that call's been created. So now we're going to flip back to Scribe again, and we're going to run the solution on demand. Again, remember that you could set this up on a regular schedule, so it could run every minute uh, if that's what you needed. And, and the data actually synchronizes very fast back and forth. You don't really have to wait very long if it runs every minute. So another thing that I want to show is the ability to view uh, exceptions and also the history of what's been processed. And that's not something people think about a lot of times when doing integration projects that can be a lot of the effort is dealing with exceptions and so here you'll notice that we have a list of every single time the solution is run and we can view the statistics associated with it so here we can see that we synchronized one account we had four invoices come up from Epicor and go to Salesforce and then we had an account go from Salesforce into Epicor and if there were any errors those would show up there as well and you could look at those fix them and then reprocess all right, so the solution's still running. It should finish in a minute. Let's go back to Epicor while it runs. And we're going to do the other flow. So we're going to enter a simple sales order. I'm going to pull up order entry. We're going to enter a sales order from Microsoft. And we're going to use a functionality inside of Epicor called a counter sale that uh, allows you in a single transaction to create the sales order uh, pack it, ship it, and invoice it. So you could use the normal processes as well inside of Epicor it would work exactly the same. Again, just doing this uh, in the for speed. All right, so we're going to add a new line item here. Add the DCD 100 SP. Okay, choose the warehouse and put in a quantity. Okay, it looks like we have a problem with our warehouse. So we're going to choose the correct one here. Actually, I'm just going to delete the line and then start over. Okay. All right, so we're going to add another line item. The DCD 100 SP again. And we're going to add a quantity of one to this and then we're going to save it and then we're going to check off uh, invoice it and pack it okay and process counter sale and in a second here we'll see a couple of pop-ups showing us the pack ID that was created and then also the invoice number okay OK here, it's still processing. All right, now we're going to go back to Scribe and we're going to process that again on demand. Okay. And then while that runs, we're going to go back to customer entry and take a look at the contact that came back from Salesforce and then also the call that was logged. So if we navigate through the tree here, we'll still see Bill Gates as a contact and use the chairman. And any of the, again, any of the other information that was entered in the system would also flow back through. And then if we click on the call log, we'll see the call log that came back from Salesforce. And this is really nice because your sales team could be using Salesforce.com for their sales activities and your customer service group could be using Epicor for any of the issues that the uh, customer has 
and um, those could flow back and forth and they could both have easy access to them. So now if we go back to Salesforce, okay, looks like the solution's still running. Synchronizing the sales order information in the invoice back and forth between the two systems. Now if we refresh this record, the Microsoft record, we should see the sales order and invoice information. So it looks like we have a timing issue and the order hasn't come over yet, but the invoice is there. So it's very easy to synchronize this information back and forth between the two systems. Uh, you'll see the invoice number, the total, and any of the rest of this could be filled out as well. We also support line item detail on sales orders and invoices. Uh, it's just not set up in this particular solution. Here's a list of all of the entities that are exposed by Datix Connect for the Scribe platform. We support bi-directional synchronization of customers, contacts, CRM calls or activities, orders and quotes, which means that you can create orders and quotes in Salesforce and then have them create orders and quotes inside of Epicor. We also support read-only entities from Epicor to Salesforce via shipments, parts, inventory, and invoices. We also support all user-defined tables within Epicor as well. So if you have user-defined data in those tables and you want to synchronize data from Salesforce into those tables or from Epicor uh, up to Salesforce, you can do that. You also notice that because of the Scribe platform, we also support a lot more systems besides Salesforce.com. We also support many marketing automation systems such as Marketo, Exact Target, Pardot, Silverpop. Uh, we also support e-commerce platforms such as Zenode and Direct to Database, so SQL Server, Oracle.